Hello everybody, today I'd like to show you a chain of command uh, example for data source uh, for the validate write method uh, wrapper in X++ code sample in uh, Dynamics 365 I'm using version 8.1 uh, Why validate write? Okay, so let's uh, refer to Microsoft documentation Okay, so this is the uh, URL to Microsoft documentation. This is the name of the document. Okay, so let's take a look at the data so source. Okay, so for the data source, at this time, I'm using ver version 8.1. In your case, you may check it out, but this, this is uh, uh, recorded in the end of January of 2019. So for the data source you have two mes methods init and validate right at this time this is why you should be able to begin programming um, data source uh, method wrapper in approximately 5 to 10 minutes here is the code in Visual Studio you cannot do auto generation at this time you just need to type it in uh, first you create the class of this name like this. I already did. So you go to right click on uh, the project and then um, add new item class. The, give it a name which has uh, the uh, data source uh, description in it. In my case I give it custom table data source and then append extension suffix like this recommended. I already did so this is my class and uh, I am uh, wrapping validate write method as you can see you probably already saw the documentation for this uh, you should have next validate write which is supposed to be executed without conditions and then uh, here is the code so the most important piece is this you just need to get the, the, the customer table buffer through this cursor okay so that's uh, that's what you probably need the rest is my uh, custom portion I'm uh, reading record from my custom compliance table and I'm reading first only uh, sorted by date descending so the most recent sales document in my case and then I I'm showing you in uh, the info log on, on the form, customer form, which gives me the sales ID and compliance information from custom table. Let me show, you can debug it, let me show how does it work. In order to debug, you need to make one of the forms um, startup object like this. Right click on the form, this form should be okay to open uh, and say set a start object, startup object this and then you can do debugging if you don't have any form in your customization um, and you just need to try first time then uh, you, you would have only one class here just make it startup object like this and then uh, when you r run debugger simply ignore the error on, on the first page and then uh, go ahead and uh, uh, switch to um, normal inter interface finance in operations. Now I go to sales orders, sales and marketing, all sales orders. I'll, I'll open the customer form, form from sales order. I'm gonna open uh, one of the sales orders where I have compliance record for the sales order. Now I'm gonna drill down to customer record click on header here I'll see the customer I'm gonna open the customer I'll change one of the fields on the customer form like this and then when I save it validate right on the uh, data source should fire you see um, debugger stopped at the uh, stop point OK, 
Okay. Okay, now I am reading the buffer. Now I'm going to look at the customer table buffer. You see US 18. Let's, uh, let's take a look. So yeah, this is US 18. Contoso Retail Detroit. Okay. Now I'm going to go step by step. The um, original method, uh, this next validate write already executed and it returned bo boolean red it is true now customer cast table buffer is uh, not empty now I'm reading the first record from the uh, sales orders for each for sales order I have I may have one or zero compliance records okay so if compliance record is not empty it is not I'm gonna write info on the form okay here's my info let me show you the code again yeah this is the, this is all all you need the um, the piece the piece you need uh, uh, is here. The rest is your portion of, of uh, calling your own customization. This is where instead of my code you can in insert uh, your customization. Thank you for watching.